the importance of the Lord and the importance of, uh, of us as being the people of God and the importance of striving to live holy. Amen. Because that's something that God wants us to do. He wants us to live holy. He said, be holy, for I am, but I am holy. And you know, that's the thing that we have to strive for. You know, and we go through a lot of different things in life, don't we? Yes, sir. We go through a lot of different things in life. A lot of adversities, a lot of different changes come up in life. You know, we have changes all through life. You know, from a child all the way up to an adult, older age, it's changes and things that you deal with. But we thank God for God being with us and giving us thank you, Lord. the faith, the desire, and the mind to want to do What's right according to that which is written? Well, that's what we have. We have one of those things that are written in the scriptures. Is that right? Yes, sir. So, all right. We're going to get started tonight in 1 John, 1st chapter, verse 1. And let's hear it. That which was from the beginning. Well, now we're talking about that which was, hey, that's something. That Amen. which was from the, from the very existence. Is that right? Amen. That which was from the beginning. Which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes. We heard it, we seen it with our eyes, and what else? Which we have looked upon. Well, we looked upon, and our hands have handled. And our hands, yes, our sir. hands handled. That which was from the beginning. That which was from the beginning. Yes, sir. Now that's deep right there. Yes, sir. That very first part of that is saying a whole lot. Yes, sir. Taking us back to the very beginning. Foundation. Is that right? That which was from the beginning. Amen. That which was from the beginning. Amen. Go ahead. And our hands have handled. And our hands have handled of the word of life. Wait a minute. Our hands handled the word of life. Amen. That which was from the beginning. Amen. Our hands handled the word of life. For the life was manifested. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Now you're talking about something. Jesus. Yeah, so. Hallelujah. Something that's being manifested. Something that was from the beginning. The beginning. We looked upon it. No. Is that right? We heard it, we seen it, and we felt it. Yes, sir. We touched it. Huh? Amen. What did he say? Word of life. For the life was manifested. The life was manifested. And we have seen it. The life of the Son of God. Amen. Was manifested. And then we did something. We see it. We see it. That's why Peter was able to come around and say, We were eyewitnesses. Of his majesty. Yes, sir. Huh? Is that right? They saw it. They looked upon it. They handled it. Amen. One scripture say they ate with him. Hallelujah. Didn't it say so? Amen. After he rose from the dead. From the dead. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. What did it say here, my beloved? Amen. And we have seen it. We have seen it. And bear witness. Bear witness. And show unto you. And that show life. unto you that eternal life. Which was the Father. Was what? Which was with the Father. There you go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Which was, that's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I, you know, it's certain things. Be, it's certain, you know, when, you, when you're playing music, right? You can tell when the instrument done going out. Amen. Mm -hmm. They hear another chord, can't Amen. Yeah. So wait a minute, let, let, let's, let's go back over that. Is that right? Nah, that, that's it. What did he say again, my beloved? Amen. And show it to you that eternal life. That eternal life which was with which the was with the Father and was manifested unto us. Was this was with the Father. Amen. This life was with the Father. Amen. What did God do? He sent who? His son. His son. He sent his son. This life was with the Father. Amen. This life was with the Father. Go ahead. Amen. That which we have seen and heard declare. Well, that which we have seen and heard, we declare unto you. 
that ye also may have fellowship with us. That ye may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father. Truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Huh? Amen. Truly, our fellowship. Thank you. <laughs> truly, truly, our fellowship. Is that right? Is with the Father and. Did he say and? And. And with his Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Thank huh? You, Jesus. Yes, sir. We have fellowship. Is that right? Amen. With the Father and with His Son, who? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's, what, that's what the Bible says. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What else He said? And these things write we unto you. These things we write unto you that your joy may be filled. What well, glory to God? We want to let you know something. We want you to realize and understand. We want to write these things to you to let that your joy. You can be glad about. It. Amen. Ain't nothing to be sad about. Amen. And God done saved you. God done blessed you. God done brought you out. God done saved you from all kinds of things. Thank you, Lord. Saved you from death. Saved Thank you from you destruction. All you. kind of things. Ain't Thank nothing Lord. to be sad about. Thank you, Lord. It's time to be glad now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I thank God. Hallelujah. Is that right? Could have been dead. Could have been on drugs. Could have been yeah. in prison. All kind of things. Thank you, Jesus. But why? Because God loves us. And mercy, he, he had his mercy extended towards us. Is that right? Yes. While we were yet sinners, Christ died. Amen. Glory to God. People out there doing some everything. Amen. But Christ and died for them. Yes. Christ giving them a chance to repent of their sins. Jesus. Go down in water in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. And to live holy. Is that right? Amen. God has given man a chance. Is that right? Is that right, man? From the rising of the sun to the going down that road. Is that right? He's given man a chance. He gave a man, he gave men a chance today. Amen. He's giving them a chance tonight. Amen. Go to God when the sun rises in the morning. He gave him a chance. Though he's angry with the wicked every day, but God is still showing for his mercy. Hallelujah. You understand? Thank By extending you. our life. Yeah. So that's something to be glad about. Yeah. Amen. Is that all right? Yes, sir. What are you saying, my beloved? Amen. And these things write we unto you. These things write we unto you. That your joy may be full. But your joy may be full. Thank you, Jesus. Then this, then this then is the message which we have heard of him. This then is the message which we have heard of him. And declare unto you that we heard it of him. So when, what they're declaring, if they heard it of him, it got to be right. Amen. If they heard it of him, they got it from the source. They got to be right. You know, a lot of times people say, well, I, I tell you what, I heard such and such. I heard it from the hearts of mine. You know, y'all know that phrase. Heard from the heart. That means you don't got it right from the source. Mm -hmm. You ain't heard it nowhere else. I got, I got this from the horse's mouth. Is that right? Amen. That means you don't got it direct. Though I know how it would be if we did the talking horse. Is that right? But right. well, you know how it is. But here, they have got the source from the one that is declaring the truth. What they say? Then, this then is the message which we have heard of him. What is that? And declare to you. What is it? That God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. Well, this is the message that we have heard of him. That God is light. God is light. Amen. And in him is no darkness at all. Ain't, ain't no darkness. So God is right in everything he do. Amen. Is that right? He's just in everything he do. He's right in everything he do. Amen. And ain't no crookedness in it. Ain't no darkness in it. No, sir. He's all light. So if we're striving to live like Jesus, we should be striving for light. Amen. We don't want no darkness in us. We don't be, want to be hiding in they want you to talk about covering sin. Amen. You want to get that sin out you. Is that right? Amen. You want to be, see, you can see the sin in you. If you look close enough. That's right. Amen. If you look in the mirror close enough, you can see that. You can see that shirt ain't, ain't, ain't pressed. You look close enough, you can see that, that stuff in between your eyes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You got to look real close though. You see that in there? 
When you look close in your heart, then you can see what you really are. Amen. But you got to really, you got to look at yourself and and, and and call it for what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You got to look. You can't. Don't try to cover it now. Don't be a liar and say you're really not one. Amen. Don't be a homeowner and say you're not one. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Don't be a robber or a discourser or any of those things and say you're not one. If you look at yourself well and you say, well, that's what I am. I need to make a change. Amen. And some people go to church and they got all this stuff in them. Is that right? Saying in the choir. Amen. Usher. Amen. Remember. Yes. All, and they say they're in the light, walking in the light. Walk in the light. They don't want to walk in the light, but it's the light in you. Mm. Huh? What scripture says the, the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. You know, the light of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ got to get in all. What scripture says the light of the gospel will shine in their hearts. It'll bring about a change. In Amen. our life. We're going to do so. Amen. All right, what it says here. Amen. If we say that we have fellowship with him. All right, listen. If we say that we have fellowship, because remember he said our fellowship with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. But he said if we say we have fellowship with him. And walk in darkness. If we say we got fellowship with him. Fellowship with him. And walk where? In darkness. What are we doing? We lie. We're doing something. Amen. Is that right? Amen. We, we, we got we got to be changed in our life. Mm -hmm. Can't say we're walking in fellowship with him and then walk in darkness we and lie. then the scripture said, Well you're lying. And do not the truth. You know, you ain't doing the truth. Go ahead. But if we walk in the light, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light. As he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Amen. We have fellowship. One with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Yes, holy blood. Huh? Thank God for the blood. Amen. Amen. If we walk in the light and sees in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Is that right? Amen. And the blood of Jesus cleanses us. Is that all right? That's all right. See, if you want to walk in the light, the scriptures say men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds evil. He said they won't come to the light that their deeds might be made manifest. Because what light does? Shine. Light shines. It light shines. Don't it do so? Amen. Excuse me. Light manifests itself. <clears throat> it manifests itself. It manifests things around you. It manifests you. See, when the gospel comes, the scripture says the word is a lamp unto my feet. And it's light, right? So when the word of God comes, that's light. So what it does, it shines in a dark place. It shines in our hearts and our minds to let us see who? Us. See, it shines with That's you. Turn the light on, that's you. Regardless of, of, of how you are. Is that right? Amen. Amen. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not dressed properly, you're not doing certain things properly, when the light comes on, that's you. And it shines that you can see yourself and make correction. Amen. That's what the word of God is for. It shines. But a lot of people get mad when the light shines. You know how people when you turn the light on they sleep? People get totally mad on your right. Is that right? Amen. You don't want to be awake. And the scripture says, Wake thou that are asleep. God said, and rise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee. Amen. Huh? Amen. He's the light of the world. So if he is in us and we desire to do what's right according to the word of God, we shouldn't get upset when the light is shining upon us. We should say thank you. Is that right? A lot of times, you know how it is in the natural, you you know, your house is not as well lit as the outside. You getting dressed and everything, everything look good on the inside. But when you come to the light, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. When you come to the light, the true light, right. amen, you inside, and that's, just, that's artificial light. Mm -hmm. you know, when you, you're getting ready, you think you're looking good, you don't even see the spot on your tie. Mm -hmm. You don't even see the, the, the spot on your dress, mm -hmm. that little yellow stain. Because mm -hmm. you're in the dark, it's all blended in. Yeah. But when you hit the light, yes. the light. Lord Jesus. when you walk in the light, mm. it's made manifest in it. Amen. Amen. And then, a lot of times, 
When you do that, and you're going to a special event or a special occasion, if you got something else ready, you know what you're going to do? You're going to change up. I can't, I can't, I'm filled up. I can't, I can't wear this. Mm -hmm. When the light shines in your heart and you see what you ain't doing right, you need to change. Amen. Need to make a change. You're not going to change them not your own. Mm -hmm. You need to change what's in your heart and your mind. Right. Amen. So you can be a people that's pleasing to God. Amen. You want to change the clothes so quick. That's why God say, God, man, looks at the outward appearance. Yeah. Yeah. We, so, we so conscientious of how we look outside. Mm -hmm. God want our heart right. Yeah. God, how good you look, how nice the suit is, it don't make no difference. Yeah. Yeah, how long you think your hair is, your mm -hmm. eyelashes, your fingernails, your toenails, all this. God ain't studying that stuff. Amen. Oh, shit. Is that right? Got your gold in your mouth, your earrings, and all that. Is that right? Diamond, all that. God ain't studying that stuff. That's right. God ain't studying. Man, do though. Right. If our shirt ain't right, our tie ain't right, we want to take it. Don't you want to take it off? Mm -hmm. You get in the light and say, I can't go nowhere looking like this. Not quite, because you really see yourself. You see, you see the outside, but in the dark, you thought you were ready to go. Then, sometimes when we was walking in the dark, we thought we was all right. Sometimes people have been walking in the dark for years, they think they're all right. Mm -hmm. Until the true light shines, the gospel, is, the, the gospel be preached, and people say, I ain't doing what I, I ain't even where I thought I was. Huh? But the light is shining. Amen. Yeah, man. And it make you see who? Self. And when you see self, you know what you got to do? That's why repentance is so important. You yeah. got to make a change. You got to change. Amen. Is that all right? All right, let's continue, my beloved. Amen. If we say that we have no sin, well, we deceive ourselves. Wait a minute. Say what now? If we say that we have no sin, if we say, if we say we don't have no sin, we deceive listen, ourselves. Listen, listen, listen. You know what? Everybody got sin. Amen. Amen. That's another one of them broad statements, huh? That's right. Well, yeah. No, no, you got sin. You know why? Because your flesh is sinful, your flesh is weak, and as long as you're in this world, you're going to do something sinful. Why do you think God had sent his son? God so loved the world that he, he, he sent his only begotten son. Why do you think his son died? He died for our what? Sin. Sin! That's why scripture says, should we continue in sin? That grace. Huh? Oh, as long as you're here, you here, you're going to sin. Oh, that grandson. Oh, you're dancing now. <laughs> you're dancing. Because there's something going to come up. Why you think mom and dad will have to spank him? He going to be done something. He had no business. But as I said, yeah, well, when you do wrong, it's, it's, sure, ain't, it's sure ain't good. So it's sin. It, just, it depends on how, you know, how people look at certain things. Amen. But sin, if, as long as we live in this life and we grow up, you know what your people going to do? They're going to yeah. sin. Yeah. Now, I know that some people say, I got they disagree. No problem. <laughs> no problem. You disagree. But you got to understand one thing. Your flesh is sinful. Amen. See, you can, you can sin looking. Amen. You can sin touching. Mm -hmm. You can sin hearing. Yeah. You can sin thinking. Mm -hmm. Huh? All them kind of ways. If you sit up all kind of I don't see I ain't done the issue. Oh yeah, oh y'all yeah. no problem. Lord Jesus. Gotta have all that straight now. Thank you. That's God to help in all them areas. The eyes, the ears, what you say, the tongue. Yes. You know the tongue is a deadly poison. Yes, yes it is. It's full of evil, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's full of it, 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 it's a deadly point. Let's go. Let's talk about that. Let's go over there. It doesn't yeah. hit me now. Amen. Yeah, I want to see this so see what how poison that tongue is. Amen. See, people think they can just say anything and talk like that. You can be on it, you, 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 you can talk too much too on, on these phones. I don't care if you're texting. So I ain't saying nothing. You say you are saying something. Amen. Amen. James 3. You put words down. Amen. You can write stuff that's coming out your mind and your heart. That's right. Where you think that's coming from? Oh, the computer doing it right. You can't blame no computer now. You can't blame no cell phone. Quit, quit trying to blame your phone. It's you. Amen. You text about somebody, you say all kind of things about people. People sit up in church and I'm texting. 
No, we don't do that. You don't do that kind of stuff in no church. Amen. You sit up in no church texting. You, you got your phone on vibrate. That one on vibrate. You in the choir standing there in the back door. And you text and say, look to your right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. Get, and you, you the usher at the door. You text her right quick. Guess who coming in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't right. Amen. 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 So we so high technology, so technology thing we didn't do anything. Can't be doing. We ain't come to church if we don't do no texting and stuff. Amen. I know people do, but it ain't right. I'm just telling you, it ain't, ain't a good thing to do. We got to we got to break away from certain things. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I know some things we accustomed to say, you know what? I got to just break away from it. I can't Amen. be in there. I'm supposed to come here and praise the Lord. Proverbs yeah. Here you in. Here you are in a good prayer, and God is about to use you, and your phone go vibrate. Amen. Jesus. What you gonna do? Jesus. Most of the time you gonna shh. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now you now what? The spirit, the power, and you see, you don't got the, the spirit that been quenched. Oh, your spirit has been quenched. Because I will say the phone got you. That's right. Here you get getting getting in the Lord. You, you thank God you, you you stepping up the ladder now. Mm. You get, is that all right? Yeah. You can feel God power in somebody. What that gonna do? You know what that gonna do? Bring you down. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, now you coming down the ladder. Now you and, and, and now you don't no tell what you done heard. It can distract you. Now you can't even you can't even pray. Get back into it. Amen. See, I see people don't realize it's, it's a lot of things that that can distract you. Amen. Is that right? What did he say here, my beloved? Amen. Proverbs 6. What did he say? These six things do what the Lord hate. Yea, seven are abominations to him. A proud look. A proud look. A lying tongue. A lying tongue. And hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that deceit that divides is wicked to my heart. That should bite. Wait a minute. Listen to that. That's very key. <clears throat> a heart that devises. That devises. Wicked imagination. So you're thinking, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you're thinking. That's why I say you got to be careful. You, Lord, help us to walk in the light because we got to have our minds, our thoughts. We got to see the devil will play. You can't have no certain thing on your thoughts in your mind. That's why the scripture say, you know, you know, it's perfect here to give perfect peace to them whose mind stayed on the Lord. Yeah. You, we, we sit up in church thinking the wrong thing about each other. Amen. Here and anywhere else you go. Go with a, you know, you, you, it's things you're going to see. Is that right? You things you're going to see. But you don't let stuff penetrate your head and mind so hard to where it just gets you. Because you're going to see things in the church. Yes, sir. Yes, you will. Won't you? Amen. 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 You don't tell what might come to the church. You might see a lady, she, she want to be a man. You might see a man. You might see a man come to the church with a dress on. You don't run him out. Amen. I ain't gonna run him out. And let, the, let the words try to scrape him out. That's right. Amen. 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 Get out of here. You're an abomination. Get out. No, uh -uh, uh -uh, no. Bring him, the, bring, him the, bring him on to the mechanic shop. To the soul shop. It's the soul shop. Heart shop. We work on hearts, work on minds. Work yeah. on thoughts. Work on the eyes. We go. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Work on the hand. Oh, work on your feet. Amen. 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 Where you're supposed to go. Where you shouldn't go. Where you should stop going. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> work on all that stuff. Is that right? Amen. Right. Coming through the soul shop. Yes. The church is the soul shop. Huh? Get that soul right. Amen. 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 And, and, and everybody, everybody, everybody come, need some work done on them. Amen. That's right. Amen. If I caught running right, what it make me say? You may, you may have, you may have a shortage in your electric, in, in your, in your <laughs> light bulb. Your, your home might blow every now and then. So you got to get something. Some, some is major and some is what? Minor. But everybody need work done. Amen. It's, we can, don't you know we can always come and we get something and receive something by the word. Amen. Don't never come and say, well, you know, come with open mind, open heart to hear what God has to say. Amen. To get wisdom, to get knowledge, to get understanding of how we should live 
in order to please God. Amen. And walk in this wicked world among Amen. wicked, wicked people every day. Is that right? Because you know I learned something. You know what? It don't take it don't take much to get mad. No sir. No sir. It don't take much to get mad. And, and I deal with people, I deal with all kinds of people. Uh, you know, and sometimes you, you, you have to sometimes you have to just the spirit you know, bring something quick to you, you gotta be like, <laughs> okay. And leave it alone. I'm, I'm serious. Because you're going to say something. We're going to get to that tongue. You're going to say something, thought something. And it don't take much. You got the Holy Ghost. Amen. But you got to remember something. We got the Holy Ghost, but we're still in the flesh. And flesh is Amen. weak. I'm telling you. Is that right? Amen. Amen. We want to bring ourselves under subjection. All right, what he said. Amen. Feet that's that be swift and running to mischief. Uh huh. Feet run swift to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies. See, I, all right. See, he can't stand these things. And the seven is an abomination. And then the seven is an abomination. What is that? And he that soweth discord among brothers. That's an abomination. Amen. Here you go. Wait a minute. That's heavy. Sowing discord. Sowing discord. I'm trying to say something to make David. And Joe be separated. Rick and Joe. Is that right? Sister Donna, Sister Austin, saying things to bring discord. God said he can't stand it. He says, read that again to seven. Amen. Read six and then go down to seven right quick. A false witness that speaketh lies. Here we're gonna go to the tongue shortly. And he that saw it this whole. Here we're gonna go to the tongue shortly. But then a, a false witness speak lies. Let me tell you something. See, let me tell you something. And it shouldn't be. Yeah. It should not be that a person that say they love God and want to walk in the God and walk in the light lying to each other. No yeah. sir. That's not a priest. Yeah. That people need church. That, that's why sometimes people, sometimes people be wondering, man, you got to preach the truth. People, around, people be sitting around here. People be, sometimes people be in church, got all kinds of stuff going on. Man, why is it like that? Speaking live, now you don't even know what you're talking about. Well, sister so and so said this. So -so. What, 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 what you think about it? You, you listen to that lie? Have you went to that person and told them, say, well, so is that right? You show sure you ain't lying? Somebody could be that told you a lie. Amen. You ever thought about that? Amen. Sometimes we think, okay, because it's supposed to be a saint, somebody filled with God, somebody filled with God. Well, we sh it should be that way, but it's not that way. That's why the scripture said in one passage, Lie not one to another. If he said that, somebody lying to each other. Amen. If the, let me tell you something. If the scriptures say a thing, I believe people doing it. Amen. It wouldn't say that they weren't doing it. Amen. You got to remember that. The scriptures say things that people are doing. Amen. And he say things to correct people and stop people from doing things. Everything the scriptures say, people doing it. Remember that. Remember that. I don't care what it is. I don't care how bad it sounds or how bad it looks. When the scriptures say people are doing things, they're doing it. And it ain't just some people out there in the world that have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It's folks right around the church hollering, jumping up. Amen. 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 People lie on the preacher. Amen. 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 People lie on the preacher, lie on each other. You know, gossip, mm -hmm. sowing discord, mm -hmm. texting each other. See, people that one thing about texting. You could be riding in a car with somebody. Mm -hmm. And and this person is giving you a ride. Mm -hmm. And you texting to somebody else, telling them how bad they are. She thinks she's so. Mm. <laughs> and this person giving you a ride home. That's true. And it's raining. And you still talking about it. Lord oh, Jesus. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Amen. 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 Let's be real with let's be real. Let's have a real love of God. I, I, you know, I'm just I'm just, let me tell you something. People tell me a lot of things, but I just don't I don't suck I'm not like a sponge. I don't suck up everything I hear people say. Amen. I hear it. 
Is that right? Because you got to remember one thing, saints. People do do things. Wait a minute. Listen to this right here. Read that seventh chapter again. Amen. Listen to it. Listen to it. A false witness that speaketh lies. And, and he that soweth discord among brothers. Do you think people don't do that? They do, sir. Do you think people don't do that? Huh? Mm -hmm. Listen to what he said. Listen to another key word. Read it again. A false witness yes. that speaketh lies. Yes. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Jesus. Among who? Brethren. I, I, see, I'm catching all that. Among. Brother. Wait a minute. It's among brethren? It's among brethren? So it's among people that are supposed to be loving one another? Amen. Among brethren? Amen. So don't tell me. Go ahead, brother. Ain't no discord. I, I, don't, don't tell me that. Preach. No, ain't nobody gonna tell me that now. Because the scripture's saying, read it again. A false witness that speaks. Now here, now, now here the thing here. Give say lie not one to another. Amen. Then he can't stand this is an abomination. He say these six things with the Lord. Lord hate. Hate. He what? Hate. He what? Hate. Let us say hate. 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 Yeah, he said. God hate him. He hate him. Amen. God hate him. I'm, my butler. I'm just saying what God needs. These six things do what the listen, Lord hates. When we know, listen, if we know God hated, we should show strive not to do it. Amen. If I know God hates this right here, Lord help me, Jesus. I see where I'm short. Pray to the Lord, Jesus. Lord help me. I've been doing this. Lord, I got to get myself straight because I realize and understand that you hate him. Is that right? Lord, I know, Lord, you help me. I, I've been showing some of them discord, Lord Jesus. Amen. I've been showing, I've been lying, I've showed been lying. I lied on Deacon Smith the other week. Said he was somewhere, and I know he was because he was with me. Mm. But see, you got to be honest to do that. You, you got to be willing and honest to do that kind of stuff. Mm. You think this don't happen, say? Let me tell you, don't you? I'm telling y'all. Is that right? Amen. Amen. They do it. They lie. One good example. What happened to Ananias and Five? They told a lie. Acts Five. What, what happened to them? But did they lie? Yeah. Ain't know what happened to them when they told the lie. Amen. They drunk and they. Amen. Suppose the Lord said, "Well, every time, every time you say you are of the Lord." And you love the Lord and you want to do what I say and strive to do what I say. Every time you tell a lie, you're going to drop dead. I don't care. Any, a new law come out. This is the new law. Anytime any saints say they have God, say they love the Lord, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, say they receive the Holy Ghost. Every time they lie, they're going to drop dead. Mm. People might drop dead in the testimony. Bam! Mm. That's right. Say it in the choir. Bam! Pulpit. Bam! Mm. Well, thank the Lord for his mercy. Yeah. That he allows us a chance to examine ourselves and to better ourselves within. Amen. Thank God for his son Jesus Christ yeah. that is our mediator. Don't Father, don't do him like that. Because you know, I was, I've been intending to get to the scripture, I haven't got to it where, where Aaron had to stand between death and life. Yeah. The people was doing so many things, God was killing them. And you had to stand as a mediator. Because most sinners, they go, no, stand between death and life. See, we, we got to take this serious. We can't, we, we, don't get so relaxed. And, so, and don't even, so, and you talk to the other brothers and sisters, don't, 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 don't let them talk so slack and, and relax. Say, no, we can't be doing that. We can, no, we can't, brother, we can't be, no, we got to make sure. Now, are you sure about this? Because people are so discordant in among saints in the church, if you know, got here, because y'all know how the website is, y'all know how YouTube is, Twitter, and all the other stuff that I don't know nothing much about. Yes. It's so many different ways that you can communicate in it. Amen. So many different ways. So many different ways. And you tell a lie, yes. you say something, it's gone. Come. Even if you do something, it's gone. That's why we got to strive to dress right and do what's right. Cause stuff be gone. They say, oh, I thought you were able to hold. A sister, oh, she holding all this down. Throw yourself up, sister. Don't wear that so tight. No, uh -uh, no. 
Amen. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 You ain't trying to get nobody. See, that's why the scripture talk about lust. And I tell you, I don't put nothing past stuff what happened in no church. I, I don't got that. I, I, I don't made my mind up to that. That just, that just it. I don't care what your people do. They not want to hear it. They hold their head down if you want it. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. You can keep your head down. <laughs> as long as your ears open, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, let's hear it real quick again, Brother Joe. A false witness that speaketh lies. Now, that's coming from the tongue, right? Amen. What else? And he that soweth discord among brethren. Do God love the man? The Lord, these six things do the Lord hate. Yea, seven. Yes. Seven, and seven are an abomination unto him. Seven, what is that seven? And seven he that soweth discord so among brethren. He can't stand that. He hated it. It is an abomination. So don't let people so discord to you. Don't let people lie to you about somebody else's brother, sister. Don't be listening to what people say. You may hear it, but don't hate it. And, and just don't, 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 don't suck it in like a sponge. Say, no, that can't be true. Now, whatever they remember is like, there are some things people say, and I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes there are things that you may know. You can't say nothing. Especially if you're not going to that individual. You go to that individual. Don't get up and, and try to throw up a testimony. Go to the people. Learn. We got to learn to go, be able to go to each other. And then we got to learn to be able to receive things. You see what I'm saying? No, no. I just, just, I just got something I got to tell you. What, what you got to tell me? Well, it, it, that is when you go to them. We got to learn to do that. That's, listen, I know some things are difficult in it. But those are things we have to practice and work on. Amen. So some things be difficult for people. But they wonder how this person gonna react. Amen. That's like if a man say he's gonna confess to his wife something, he say, honey, I got something I'm gonna confess to you. She gonna she may be stirring a pot, she may stop. <laughs> I just wanna say I love you. <laughs> Uh, but she gonna stop you, especially get that look. But you know, it's, you know, <laughs> people don't like it. It's just certain things. But we, it's certain things God wants us to learn and practice doing. But these are the things that the Lord hates: lying tongue, and then a brother in that so discord. Look, look at the word when you get home, baby. Look the word up. Discord. Just look at this. Now, you, you, you it kind of talks for itself, don't it? Amen. When something is discord, it, that means it's what? Separate. Mm-hmm. Pulling apart. Yes, you know, we'll, we'll conflict. C- causing conflicts. You know, people can say certain things to people that cause conflicts. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What do we got? Let's go over to James. James, third chapter, beginning at verse 5. And let's hear it. James 3 and 5, right quick. Even so, the tongue is a little member. Well, the tongue is a little member. And boasteth great things. Well, the tongue talk about some great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. But the tongue is a little member. But it can, but how great a what? A little a matter a little fire kindleth. How great a that's true. The tongue can cause so many problems. Amen. Among people. You know, just like you're talking, you hear, you know, well, I heard so and so and say so and so and so. And you still ain't got it right. Yeah, but so and so come and they tell you another thing. See, sometimes people will tell you things according to their emotion. See, if you, if you don't like me that well, when you come and tell somebody about something about me, you're going to put it, you're going to add a little more spice to it. Amen. You know that? Do y'all realize that? Amen. If you don't really care that much, like, you, yeah, I, I, I just want to see you. You're going to add some more spice to it. And then what you're doing, you're setting on fire. You're, you're causing a fire. You can take one match and throw it, just throw it in the fire, just one match. And that one match will create thousands of acres to be destroyed. Amen. Yes. People can say one thing with their tongue and cause a lot of things to be destroyed. Sometimes Amen. people, sometimes people talk about people so much. I've been talking about. It. I've been talking about. It. I don't mind. I mean, I've been talking about preaching, and then I come around people, and I can see, I can see them acting funny. Mm-hmm. I say, wow, I ain't did, you know, I ain't. But you know, I thank God for the Spirit, because you know what can happen so quickly. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. is you can see people acting funny and you want to get a little attitude too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all that y'all know how flesh is. I hope y'all 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 Amen. You know, you, you, you know somebody had the attitude, you you come around there acting funny, and then <clears throat> I remember one time I went to a place and someone said to me, hey, <laughs> where you been? I ain't seen you in so long. What 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 blew you down here? Whatever. I said, Where you been? You know, you just get Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How you can just, you can just whoop. Mm -hmm. You can whoop, but you got to keep yourself, that's why you got to keep yourself under, under control. You can't, because people say you, you can't worry about how you act. Long as you know you ain't did nothing. Yeah. Long as you know you ain't said nothing. Long as you know you ain't trying to hurt, you can walk in a place free as you can be. Amen. And walk up, you ain't got to hold your head down, no care how much around you. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? I, you, you ain't got to do a whole lay down. You, if you're a dancer, you may walk in there kind of looking down. You can walk in there and look at people right in the eyes. Look at everybody. I ain't, I ain't, I don't, I ain't flinching because I ain't done nothing to nobody. Mm -hmm. Now, you may be done heard something, but see, that's what that's what sowing discord does, you all. It does that, don't it? Amen. If you haven't never felt it or never experienced it, Maybe you will, and maybe God will help us that we always have the right spirit because it's something that, you know, is, is really uh, kind of detrimental to you, in a sense. What he says. And the tongue is a fire. Oh, the tongue is a fire. A world of iniquity. It's a world of iniquity. So is the, so is the tongue among our members. It's a world of iniquity. So is it among our members. That it defileth the whole body. It defileth the little tongue, it defileth the whole body. The whole body. Amen. Ain't that amazing? Amen. Amen. Things you say and things you, you can defile the whole body. Go ahead, my And set it on fire the course of nature. It set on fire the course of nature. It set on fire. It, 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 it has a course that it takes. Mm -hmm. And it is set on fire. And then it is set on fire of, of hell. Of hell. Amen. So you see, ain't no good in it. No good. Go ahead. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and have been tamed of mankind. Everything in the sea and everywhere have been tamed. All I see the lions and all the things. People, they already tamed big old anacondas and all that kind of stuff. They just tame tigers and all the vicious Every beast is there been tamed, but the tongue can no man tame. Wait a minute, you can tame all these animals, these big old lions, but you can't tame your tongue. Mm. Ain't that amazing? Mm -hmm. it's a, that's what the tongue do. It's a little bit of them, but it's set on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. Amen. People do more talking than they ever talk to you. Do y'all know that? Yes, sir. People talk more now than they ever talk. And I know it's some lies being told somewhere. Mm -hmm. Lying in text, lying on a, on a friendship computer. The, 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 the Facebook, you know, the be my friend thing. <laughs> Sometimes my wife should say, you know, some, some of my old schoolmates, you know, they call them want to be my friend. I, I, I don't want to be nobody. <laughs> she said, "You sure try to get in touch?" I should be right, but sometimes I just, I just get like old mules sometimes. You know what old mule is? Y'all have been a farm. You know a, a stubborn mule. He ain't gonna plow nothing. <laughs> he gonna sit there and ain't gonna move. Am I telling the truth, anybody? Amen. A mule will get stubborn. They ain't going nowhere. You can push. You can that mule ain't going nowhere. Yeah, people say stubborn as a mule. They say that for a reason. Mules get stubborn. They don't want to get out there and work all the time. Is that right? Amen. So that's how sometimes men get men get stubborn on. Amen. Yeah. Well, they do. They do. They may not say it, they do. Men get stubborn. Mm -hmm. They ain't budging. They ain't just, yeah. But that, but that's all right. You know, we we gotta calm down. Is that right? Man make it stubborn as he wants, but that woman she put some good food in the, in the on, Amen. 
some good old lemonade and some good old this and that. He, he gonna say something. Yeah, yeah. That's, that can cause more stubborn thing now. That, that, you, 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 your stomach ain't so stubborn in the morning. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. But what he says, my beloved, we're gonna try to cut loose. But the tongue can no man tame. Listen, the tongue, you all, is set on fire of hell, the course of nature. It's a very bad thing. Learn not to lie. Learn not to speak evil. Is that right? <laughs> what is an unruly evil? It's the tongue is an unruly evil. It's an unruly evil. Amen. Full of deadly poison. It's full of what? Deadly poison. Huh? That's why the scripture said, be swift to hear. You just can't yap. David said, I took heed to my way that I said nothing. Was my tongue. Didn't yes. say so. Yes, sir. It's, 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 it's unruly. It's unruly evil. Is that right? That's why it's good to think about what you going to say. You know, be careful. You just don't rattle off anything. Is that right? Make sure. One scripture said like this. We speak what we know. And testify what we have seen. Yeah. How are you gonna tell somebody about an accident you weren't even there? <laughs> How are you gonna go to court and tell somebody about the accident and the judge said, Were you there or you were witness? No, sir, I wasn't there, but I can tell you. What what can you tell somebody? Amen. Is that right? Speak what you know. The tongue is an unruly evil. It is he says it's it's what? It's an unruly evil. And it's what? Full of deadly poison. It's full of deadly, deadly poison. Amen. So the tongue can do what? Strong. Amen. Is that all right? John 1, verses 9 and 10. What did it say, my beloved? John, 1 John 1 and 9 and 10. Yes, let's hear If we confess our sins. There it is, we back over there. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Let's finish that up. And to clean us from all unrighteousness. And to cleanse us from, if we confess our sins. Is that right? Amen. If we got to speak it, confess it. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to, to forgive, forgive us our sins. And to do what? And to clean us from all unrighteousness. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make it him a liar. And the truth. And his word is not in us. Amen. That, but if he confess, what he'll do? He's just, just and, just and faithful, faithful to forgive us our sins. If you, if you confess, you're going to say, you know what? I've done it wrong. Just like a person, when they, they confess with their mouth, and they confess. You, you're acknowledging yourself. You're acknowledging what's going on within yourself. Is that right? Amen. When we say we don't have no sin, when we say we don't have no sin, what we do? We, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. Thank you, my beloved. Amen. May God bless all of you. Keep you our prayer. Thank God always for the word of the Lord. Very good word. Did get a chance.